Hey, how is it going guys? Today I'd like to show you how to install Wine Gaming 9 from the Arch user repositories for the hour. It's a very easy installation, you know, you need nothing crazy to do. I use Yard normally. And you can either write Yard dash capital S and then Wine Gaming 9 and press enter or normally just type Yard and gaming 9 that's it there is just a package so I'll press 1 and then press enter right now it's downloading the patches and package build and other stuff and now I'll show you the only really the only thing that I, that I do normally it's just I edit the package build and I normally just add something where the make is so here I just add a test J and 8 I do this so that uh, the process is going to use all the 8 cores and all the power that my processor has that's it so actually I'm going to show you now how it is without no I don't want to save continue building I'm going to show you how it is without right now. Let me do it like that. So you will see the the CPU usage. Now it's still loading the source, and now it's checking uh, everything. And by the way, it takes a little bit. I mean, maybe half an hour or something like that. Later on, I'll show you another package that you can install if you want to save time, if you don't really need uh, all the patches that uh, Wine Gaming 9 has. As you can see here, the CPU usage, it's, I mean, it's using eight cores and everything, but it's not at 100% or close to 100%. Uh, but th what I want is that 100% so it actually it installed it faster so I'm going to interruptify the, the making okay the make process I want to redo everything I want to edit the package build I want to scroll down where the make is Actually, there is one here and another one in here. So the 64-bit and 32-bit wine versions. And that's it. So it's going to use all the power that I have to, to compile it. The other thing that you may want to do is if you want to add some other uh, configuration here that you may need, you can change the prefix, you can change this, you can change that, enable or disable whatever you need and if you want to patch something you can just put a patch here okay with the correct path to whether where, wherever your patch is okay let's save it's gonna ask me to edit package build again but I'll say no and then I'll press enter to continue building wine gaming 9 it's going to re-download everything and then you will see the the CPU usage that's that is definitely better let's checking all the files and everything You can see the difference by looking at H top here. You can see what's the CPU usage 
between uh, the normal make and the make plus the dash G8 uh, option so you can see how the CPU is really use it almost 100% to build uh, to making the file so to making the the one gallium 9 one gaming 9 sorry all right by the way I'm not gonna record all the process because it's gonna take at least 20 minutes half an hour something like that I'm just going to show you that pacman with pacman you can easily install wine staging 9 Okay, there it is. This will take a few minutes to, to get installed, even less. And this is basically wine staging plus the Gallium 9 uh, patch. So it's almost wine gaming 9, it just it lacks some patches such as uh, the Steam patch and some, some other patches. So for me it's fundamental, the Steam patch, because then I can uh, I can see, for example, the Steam store and everything else aside for the library, which is the only thing that you will be able to see if you're using this wine. But that's it. If you just want to play and you don't care about about Steam or the Steam store, actually, you can just install it and that's it. No big deal. All right. I'll be right back as soon as it's finished making and everything to complete the installation. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. All right, here I'm back. It just took around 20 minutes to build uh, both the 64-bit and 32-bit versions. And uh, I have to say that without the dash J and then the number of threads, in my case was eight, can be four or whatever. Without this option, it will take it would have taken really twice at least. All right, I can close also each stop. You can go ahead just by pressing enter. As you can see, uh, the Y here is capital. So you can press enter, proceed with the installation. And that's it, finished. So as you can see, it's a very, uh, very easy process if you use Yard and the or some other uh, Arch user repository uh, package manager, let's say. And just if you want to be fast, just use the option dash J and then the number of threads. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.